My name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you um, DAV tokens, um, community built modules or their protocol. So um, as you here is DAV token. So it is a coin of transportation, a blockchain based transportation protocol that is enabling a decentralized peer to peer globalist transportation network right so these are the community built modules on their protocol so you can um, access it by going here um, here it is so their protocols so explore what they've built so far okay so let's check this one one by one right so first one is drone charging network so it can it connects drones and charging stations with an open network where they can buy, sell, charging services using DAV tokens. So this is very very nice since you can charge um, outside of your home and you will never know because sometimes we forgot to charge our drone, right? So we'll just open our, an app, this one. And then it'll teach us or show us where it can charge. See? So right now it's um, made possible by one of their alliance members in northern Italy with five charging stations. These stations offer charging services through the DAV network in exchange for DAV tokens. Okay, so this is very, very um, nice. Okay, so the next one is the drone flight planning so this one is where dev connects drones and service providers allowing them to buy and sell flight planning services on the dev network using dev tokens so drones pass the waypoints of their planned trip and the route planner bids to offer a service in exchange for dev tokens so once a mission has been awarded the service provider returns a list of coordinates to fly through so that the drone can reach its destination safely. This flight plan takes into consideration environmental, topographical, and regulatory considerations. So, um, here is a sample of the app where you can monitor your drone. So, this is very, very useful also because, you know, in this way, you can you'll know I mean you'll know when will your drone arrive or where your drone is okay so it is made possible also by one of their lunch member and has been and it's currently offered in Nevada USA right so here it is the next one is the drone missions app so missions is the first app to uh, app built to showcase the dev ecosystem so it connects users looking to ship packages with autonomous drones. Users request drone services. Drones bid for those services and trust this cooperation is enabled by using the blockchain. So integration of the first drone partner, Capture Express, is underway. So as you can see, there's a sample of Capture Express drones. Um, it is an app where um, the users um, is looking for a drone that can ship their package and the drone will bid for that um, service and then the drone will deliver that okay that is in exchange for DAV tokens right so this is very very nice this is a sample of the missions app so powered by DAV so as you can see in this, in this sample you can see where the drones are and they will deliver just click that one i bet i'm just going to click that one so that the drone will um this way it will assign the drone that will deliver your package okay so the next one is more in the software part of dav so it's the dav cli and testnet so command line interface 
It's a tool that was built to make developing applications and services that interact with them a much more pleasant experience. It allows developers to easily run a local testnet containing dev contracts, generate identities secured by private and public keys, and register them on your blockchain. So this allows anyone to easily scaffold new projects or modify an existing one to interact with dev and more. So there's a uh, fully functioning testnet and identity generation already used by foundation projects. So work on connecting the registration functionality with an identity smart contract is in progress. So let's, uh, you can go to GitHub if you're a developer. You can go to the Dev Foundation's GitHub and join their Dev community there because Dev is an open source software. So here are their um, GitHub and this is the Dev CLI. Okay. So the next one is the Dev Developer Portal. So the developer portal incorporates API documentation, communication protocols, and instructions for running the command line interface, local testnet, and log explorer. So the multiple communication protocols were written, and a user guide for their CLI tools is now available. Okay, so let's click this one so that we can view their developer portal. So this is it. Command line interface. Right? So there's a lot of protocols here also. Okay. The next one is Block Explorer. So Block Explorer allows users to explore local Ethereum testnets. This eases development and debugging for developers building apps and services on top of DAV. So work is underway to package the Block Explorer, enabling it to launch automatically from the DAV CLI tools. Alright, so there's a repository in GitHub. Alright, so here it is. Explore. The next one is a mission control. Mission control serves as a discovery and communication layer that connects and keeps track of vehicles and users and services. So fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries, currently being expanded to support the vehicles of their first partners. Alright, so here's the missions app. And here is the repository. Okay, so here is it. Here it is. Missions. So moving. Right. As you can see, there's a map here. Okay. The next one is the autonomous boat. So DAV and the California Maritime University are developing an autonomous boat called Nemo. So Nemo um, will demonstrate true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs, allowing it to operate independently for long periods at sea. So when Nemo runs low in energy, it connects to the DAV network, purchase and pay for charging services with DAV tokens and after it charges, heads back to sea. So, Nemo will be tasked with collecting oceanographic measurements in the San Francisco Bay. So, they're working on the onboard computer and its final integration with the DAV network is in progress. Okay, so this is Nemo. And here is Nemo's git. Here, is, here it is, Nemo. Project lets the autonomous boat Nemo be controlled by Python script running on an onboard Raspberry high payload computer. Right, here it is, Nemo. So the next one is Search and Rescue Robot. So DAV and Osarian, a robotics prototyping platform, are developing a POC involving an autonomous robotic rover that will perform drone search and rescue missions. The rover will bid for missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners, go to their last known location, and then using its onboard lighter and computer vision, find them and send back their exact coordinates. So Rossbot's computer vision algorithms are being updated to support identifying drones. So we're going to be redirected to Osarian's website, so here it is, Rossbot. We provide autonomous robot platforms 
for research and education software tools to connect your robots over the internet. So here is Rustbot. Lighter. Panther. So there are two um, versions of this one. So the first one is Rustbot 2.0 and the other one is Panther. Okay, so those are the um, community built modules and isn't it very interesting guys? So DAV. Okay, you can join their DAV um, telegram group here. So there's an invitation here also, this one, and also subscribe on their YouTube channel. Right? So DAV. Okay guys? So, also, if you're an EOS holder and you're fond of listening podcasts and videos, um, join this Telegram group to get new ideas. Okay? So, guys, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So, you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Okay, guys? So, guys, if you want to join Initiative Q, you can use my invitation link below. The description and also download Lumius.io so that you can get rewarded in crypto by doing feedbacks on social surveys okay so guys uh, I think that's it uh, this has been big signing off bye bye